Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Frostbolt and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at all the new stuff that has been revealed today in regards to the season of Opulence. This includes weapons, new armor, some six player activity, raid information, iron banner, solstice of heroes, and new pinnacle weapons have been showed and so much more. But anyways, we're going to dive into the trailer first and then we'll continue to explore. All right, let's check this trailer out. New mystery. New mystery. Okay. This is one of those Vex mines. Welcome. That's a new shotgun skin. Look at that. It looks like a matador, the botheration, blue shotgun. Got a rocket there. These guys probably have like some different new armor as well. Got some sparrow action. A little showcase of armor and weapons there. The menagerie. That guy had like some cool boots. Looks similar. That's the truth right there. Yeah, so that must be the six-player activity we heard about. It looks kind of chaotic. It's going to be like your blind one stuff. New quest, new six-player, new raid, new PvP update. Yeah, right, I wish. <laughs> Wait, did that... That hand cannon looked pretty nuts. Hold up. Oh, yeah. That's like... That's like an Aya's Luna from Destiny 1. And it's like in gold. So it has like the whole Leviathan... You know, theme. That looks sick, man. Damn. You know I'm grinding for that hand cannon. <laughs> Anyways, it looks like pretty much the whole trailer already. Alright. Now that we watched that trailer, let's see if they can showcase any armor and weapons and what other information they give us about Season of Opulence. So let's go ahead and read. This season, Emperor Kallus beacons guardians to prove their worth by pinning them against foes in the Marjorie. I'm gonna just say Margarita. He'll send annual pass owners on treasure hunts throughout the system to unlock the power of the Chalice of Opulence. Upgrades that allow you to choose the type of gear you earn. Okay, that's cool. I like that. The Margarita. Assembling your Chalice of Opulence is just the first step. Chalice has crafted a maze of challenges in his lost vaults. Test your strength in an all new six player matchmate activity, the Margarita. And meet his challenges head on to unlock your rewards. Pretty cool. Leviathan secrets, confront new challenges on an explored deck of Kallus massive ship, treasure awaits, upgrade the Chalice of Opulence or better refined which gear you earn, replayability, carve your way through ever-changing passive enemies. Replayability, eh? I like the sound of that. Replayability, man. New raid, okay, juicy stuff right here. Seek out the most valuable treasures in the underbelly of the Leviathan. Jump into a new Crown of Sorrow raid and join the chase for Worlds First on day one. You know I will. New weapons and armor. Let's go. Oh my god. Look at these things. It looks so cool. Yo. Hold on. Let me not get too excited. Annual Pass content and Season of Opulence provides a new path to earn some of the best gear in the game. Using the Chalice of Opulence, choose which type of gear you earn from the Margarita. Unravel the mystery and unlock its power to build a loadout that matches your playstyle. Sick. So I'm guessing this is going to be the type of gear and weapons you can earn from the Margarita match made activity so we got like an smg here on the left side following along we got some armor a sniper rifle some sword we got a hand cannon okay we got a hand cannon to grind we got the truth exotic rocket launcher that i'm guessing is going to draw from that activity so here we got we got some more armor we got that shotgun that we saw so it looks like they're going to get me to grind for that because i want that shoddy it looks like a you know that sidearm ornament for the stern drang we got a Fusion rifle on the bottom left looks like it has a freaking Mita multi to a scope or something. Got the hand cannon, that's the exotic hand cannon, and man, does it look sexy. That looks really nice. I cannot wait to get that. Got a sword. You know, these swords probably won't get too much attention, but hey, it's nice that they're in the loot pool, more content, blah blah blah. Looking good so far. I, I like the armor, definitely looks pretty nice, the theme, but some of it's kind of risky, like this helmet. I probably will do it for the for the weapons more than anything. I don't really care for the armor unless they have like some pretty nice rules and perks and they come with like some nice looking shaders and at that point, yeah, I'll probably care more about it. But definitely my interest and maybe everybody else's interest will be on the weapons. This hand cannon, the shotgun, the hand cannon, fusion rifle, the SMG, the sniper, you know what I mean. Gameplay updates. Forsaken owners can head Callus Call to quickly catch up to the power of their fellow guardians. Garmin Bandit returns. Destiny 2 owners should return to their Lord Saladin and discover how they can forge a path to new rewards. I heard they're going to do some different stuff with Iron Banner, so I'm hoping it's good. Exotic weapons and armor. Annual pass owners can add more of the best weapons to the collection. Pinnacle gear. Here we go. So it says, every player of Destiny 2 will find their rank reset in Crucible Gambit and Vanguard missions. At higher ranks, Guardians will find rewards that double as both weapons and trophies. 
earn the right to carry evidence of your prowess into battle. So the Crucible Pinnacle weapon is going to be a sniper rifle. Revolker. Miss shots are returned to the magazine after a short duration. Huh. Now, if this is a rapid fire frame sniper, man, it's about to promote body shot spam so much and I just spamming shots. That whole returning ammo to the magazine reminds me a little bit of Icebreaker, you know, something that I Icebreaker would have. That scope looks like ambush. I know DMG a while back asked, what's your favorite like sniper scope on Twitter? And a lot of people responded with short gaze. So I was hoping that the new pinnacle sniper was gonna have short gaze, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, they could have changed it by the time it comes up, but we'll see. And this is also a sniper frame from Destiny 1, I believe. Just don't know the exact name. Grenade launcher over here, we got Wadingo GL3, Orbs of Light Increased Blast Radius and Damage. You know, I'm not a fan of grenade launchers, but this description makes me happy because this sounds like they know how to separate a PvE weapon from being a PvP weapon. For example, Orbs of Light, you know, it's a PvE thing, and, you know, the best way to get this weapon to perform really well is to be generating Orbs of Light, getting those mass over kills. So I like that. I like the sound of that. Hopefully it's good, you know. Hopefully it's worthy of, you know, of a grind. And then we have the bow. I'm super excited for this. I have always wanted a bow pinnacle weapon. I talked to my stream and we're like, yo, what would you want for a pinnacle weapon? I'd be like, yeah, bow, man, you know, something that just makes it better. So this will probably be like one of those precision frame bows by the looks of it. And it says it's called Hush. Hit fire precision shots give a massive draw speed bonus. Yo. So I don't know about console players, uh, but on PC, I tend to always hit fire with a bow. I just kind of find it really accurate and, you know, not that difficult to pull off. So I know for a fact I'm going to be able to take advantage of that perk and make some crazy plays. And I'm hoping, you know, it's not that difficult to use on console to hit fire and stuff like that. Hopefully it has like hit fire grip. That'd be nice. And then we have some more information here. Solstice of Heroes. Solstice Heroes in tradition in which guardians reflect the past hardships and celebrate resilience of humanity's foremost defenders. Celebrate with other guardians in this limited time event. Just some other, you know, stuff to grind. We probably get some cool armor and we get those um, little glowing perks on our armor and stuff like that. Looks like that's pretty much it. Oh, look at the hand kitted. God, this thing is so nice looking. So originally, when they were the data mine stuff, I think the hand candle was supposed to be called Rose. I know people leaked Hawk Moon and it looks it sounded like a bunch of bumbo jumbo, but here it is the official hand cannon we're getting. And like I said, wait, is this. An ornament or the hand cannon over here no i don't think it is because this is an exotic i feel like it might not be what if it's just a legendary right and this is actually the exotic hand cannon huh i they, they look really different so i'm assuming this is an actual exotic hand cannon wow okay Hello there, my name is Henry, aka Frostbolt, you know, nice to meet you, are you ready to go slay some Guardians and Crucible at some point? Cause I am! But that looks like pretty much it, I'll put some more information on the screen if I find any for you guys, but thanks for tuning in, and we just looked over all the Season of Opulence stuff they showcased. Anyways, I'm excited to play, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think, and you know, sadly we're not getting any PvP information, but it did say uh somewhere on reddit or twitter that they were going to talk about crucible sometime during the summer so look forward to that but that pretty much concludes this video thank you for watching i'll see you guys later peace